those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. So once again in this video, I will be talking about the brand Lug, more specifically three separate items. Um, so this video may be a little bit longer than normal. Um, the first item I would like to talk about is the one that I take to work every day. I work with special needs kindergartners and first graders, and I have to say that the Matt Lux Vegan Leather Hitch is the best bag for that. I never thought I'd be a fanny pack user, but here we are. So in this bag is everything that I carry with me on a daily basis. So even though you know, my classroom is secure, I like to carry around my wallet. So having a built-in wallet in this bag is an A plus for me. As always, I'll go through the features of the bag and what I have in each section. First things first, you do get the beautiful large zipper pull, um, also made of the vegan leather Matt Lux. And let me also tell you, this bag feels amazing. It's like leather and canvas had a baby. I love the feel of it. I feel like it's really durable. Um, it's very easy to wipe. Works great with the little ones. Having it in black is a plus as well. But I digress. You have the large zipper pull. This, in fact, does come off so that you can affix anything else. One thing I've done on the loop of the zipper pull is placed a very, very plain hand sanitizer holder so it doesn't attract little tiny eyes or hands. Um, as always, the zippers are completely smooth and beautiful. I love that the six card slots you have in here do actually have the contrasting trim so you can always find out where those slots are. I have doubled up um, and in one case tripled up on the cards that I carry so I have a total of nine cards with me. Um, then you also have a nice generous slip pocket that I just have some postage stamps in at the moment um, where you can put your cash and or receipts and then in the main part I have my checkbook and I just throw in a pen in the bottom of that wallet so that keeps all my personal things with me. In the very generous soft line cell phone pocket, you can see I have my sample phone, which is about as big as my iPhone XR. This phone has an attached pop socket and it fits in there with no trouble and it does close up. I do have a little tiny thread here in case you see it. I will be clipping it. It doesn't look like it will cause any damage. Also on the front of this bag, you will see Lug's newest name logo. I have to admit, I do not like this. I do not like it at all. I just don't think it fits with the with the personality of the bag. I feel like their cursive metal logo would have been a much better fit, but personal preference. As your main compartment in the bag, you will see that it has two zippers. Very easy to access on the body, um, but if you have it packed full, you might find it a little difficult here and there. This holds a ton of stuff like I can't even it's amazing so I'll go into the main portion of the compartment first and then show you the organizational features first up I have a mini choo-choo I keep my phone accoutrements then I have a small leather coin purse just to keep some quarters for the vending machine at work I have a full-size bottle of over-the-counter um, pain reliever I have oh so it's really four things in this video. I have the newest Metro XL. I could not be happier with this particular product. It is beautiful. As you can see, it has a clear identification window, which you access from the inside. For now, just because of how I'm using it, I just keep my eyeglass cleaning cloth in there. It has a key clip and ring where you can just attach it to a bag if you want beautiful opening. It also has another small loop here where you can attach a D-ring or something. Um, inside, I just have all my little tiny tchotchkes, but it fits everything perfectly. And it has the typical inside butterfly gray lining. So I love this. It holds cards really nicely. Um, I haven't quite used it as a grab and go yet, but it definitely would work for that. I'm very, very pleased. And of course, you know, it's my butterfly gray. So I keep that in there, a nail file, and that's it for the main portion. It does have a key bungee, which I will attach my car keys during the day. 
Now on this side, you have a clear view zippered compartment. In here, I have a notebook and just some larger sized band-aids that don't necessarily fit in my little band-aid holder. On the other side, you have two generous cargo pockets. In one cargo pocket, I keep little plastic bags. I have an antibacterial spray, antibacterial cream, eye drops, little breath freshener, and a chapstick in the one. And then in the other, I have a Band-Aid holder, a hand lotion, and little picks for your teeth. So that is everything that I keep in there. As you can see, it's a large, large compartment. Very, very nice. Holds everything and I can even stick in some more stuff if I want to. Lastly, on the back, as far as compartments go, you have one more zippered compartment. Very, very nice. And in here, I just keep a ton of individual wet wipes. So that is everything for this bag as far as the organizational features. I do really, really like it and I highly recommend it. But I will say, love the large clip. You just have to be careful because you can accidentally grab it and pop it off yourself. I do like that it has the thicker strap. So this is roughly a one and a half inch strap, I'm sure. But as you can see, or maybe not, I'm hoping you can, I have had to put binder clips on this in order to hold the buckles in place because I found when I was using it, the buckle kept slipping and it kept gradually opening so it would get looser and looser on me as the day progressed. But other than that, and other than the front logo, I can't say enough good things about this bag and I'm very happy I purchased it. The next item that I have been carrying, I, I've been going back and forth trying to find the quote unquote perfect work bag. I have gone back to the Matt Lux Vegan Leather Tempo. This is in blush. This bag is stunning. I, I don't even know if you can, you can see it properly. It is stunning. It is huge. It is everything you want a bag to be. Um, I like that the quilting is just on the outside and that you have your dedicated cell phone pocket in the back so you can keep your phone secure close to your body as you're using this. Very, very nice, soft line, fits my phone, no problem. As you can see, it does get heavy because of what I have in it. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I love that it has these squishy, no slip grips on the handle. I had interest in the original Vegan Leather Tempo. I thought it was beautiful. I love the shape of it. But the one thing that put me off was the fact that the sides, neither one of them had a zipper and it didn't seem to have the no slip grips. Um, so I'm really glad with this rendition of the bag, they have changed a couple things to the best of my knowledge, one of which being these grips. Very, very wonderful. Keeps it very nice and secure on your shoulder. Don't have a problem with it. It also has the charm bar. Now, I think I've mentioned in the past, I don't use the charm bar for charms. Um, <clears throat> but what I do love is the idea of being able to put your sunglasses over. Um, I'll just use a demonstration with my own glasses. Just put them right like that. And there's no foam pocket there to interfere. Let's go over, you know, again, everything I have in the bag and the features. I have to admit that I chose this particular color because I also have a, a vegan leather cable car that I love in blush pink. I love pink in general, but I specifically chose this bag because of the lining. I love that. I think it's so beautiful. I love pink and gray together. So that was definitely the deciding factor as to which color of this bag I got. Um, in this particular side, which has your magnetic snap closure, now you do have to be careful because if you have a lot in the bag, this pops open, but what I keep in here, it doesn't matter. I have my sprinkles umbrella and I have my bobsled sunglass case. 
This is also the side of the bag that you can see has a zippered compartment, which is fully insulated. I have put my lunch in here before, um, but I have since switched to a Chewy, which I'm get, going to get to, um, and I just prefer that better. On the other side, where your phone pocket is, there is now a zippered compartment. I love this. In here, I keep my personal size day planner. I have some reusable totes that I carry and I accidentally pulled out my work badge. The work badge I stick right, if I can show you, there is a little pocket right here that I also have a little tiny comb in. There's one, two, three. So there's two essential card slip pockets and then a deeper one. The deeper one is where I put my badge. This is RFID protected and it does not have the contrasting trim, but you can see there are three slots and then your two pen slots and your key bungee that has my husband's spare keys. So that is what I keep in there. Then you get to what I consider to be the magical part of this bag, the center. It does have two zippers. It opens only to here. Um, that's not a deal breaker by any means. It opens wide enough. And in here is a ginormous spacious compartment. So I'll tell you what I have in there and then get on to the organizational features. The first thing I have is my butterfly gray chewy, which I will go over in a moment. I have an 18 ounce Takea water bottle. The 18 and a half ounce Chuggy also fits in there standing upright, so that's convenient. And that is everything I have in the main part. There is a privacy pocket in here. I just have yet another reusable tote. And then on the other side, you have a long zipper that actually has a two compartment clear view separated by the stitching. So there's two little areas. I just have a little correction tape in there. I don't really care much. And at the bottom, there are two cargo pockets. In this cargo pocket, I have some breath mints. And in here, I just have yet another notebook and pen. So that is everything that I have in here. It makes it really easy. I wear my hitch even in the car. I can fit the seatbelt over it and everything. It's not a problem. It doesn't interfere. And then I just carry this in and out of the school with all my other stuff. The other thing that I really, really love, it has the metal feet at the bottom. There is no wipeable plastic shielding. However, again, with this being vegan leather and it is nice and soft and just wonderful and textured and also very wipeable. So that is that for my two new bags in that new vegan leather matte Lux fabrication. Now, I know that the Chewy itself is not a new bag, but it definitely is one that is new to me. So let me go over the features first. First and foremost, you'll see it has this cute little grab handle. Um, I do like that, it makes it very easy. There's no hinge on here, but they do flop down, but sometimes it makes it a little difficult to stick it in my bag quickly. So I just have to finagle the zipper around the top. Not a deal breaker at all. Um, it also has two loops, one here and one here. And that is where your adjustable strap slides in. I will admit I'm not a big fan of the way this handle slides in. You can see it's got this open-ended hook. You take it, stick it in your little loop, and then it's there. It seems secure enough. I have not really used the crossbody of this. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan. And I also don't like the offset nature of where these are. Uh, I know that because of the way the bag opens, you couldn't put them on the side, but I don't know. I just feel like when you put it on, let me stand up for a quick second. When you put it on, I don't know. For me, I just kind of, I don't like the way it fits. But again, that is strictly personal preference, not a deal breaker in any way. And I really, really do enjoy using the bag. I do love that it's the butterfly gray um, and it is the one inch strap size. What I love about this bag is the way it opens. So you zip it down 
goes down to about here and then it opens very, very nicely, very square, which I really appreciate. So this is everything that I'm able to fit in this bag. I have a 20 ounce Powerade, an 11 ounce Java Monster, an 11 ounce protein shake. I have a small container that I have my little apple straws in. I have a, an ice pack. And I will say that with the ice pack and the insulation in this bag, it keeps everything beautifully cool by the time I'm ready to drink and or eat. And then I have a little container with my actual lunch. So that is everything that fits in there. There's a little bit more room to spare too. So if I wanted to throw in a piece of fruit, like an apple or a banana or something of that nature, I absolutely could. On the inside here, it has a thick mesh clear pocket. Haven't put anything in there yet. And on the outside, you can see with this really, really nice quilting, it has a zippered compartment. And what I keep in here are just some napkins. Um, I kind of have like a toddler lunch and it's all finger food, so I don't really need to carry utensils. But if I did, I would put the utensils in there as well. So that is it. Those are the new items that I carry with me to work. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm sorry if this video is like a little rusty, um, but it's been a while. <laughs> but I am very happy to be back. And as usual, I appreciate you all taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I hope you all have a good one. Bye.